I couldn't do a controlled experiment. I, as I told you, I'm familiar with double-blind controlled experiments, but I couldn't do it. You can't do it in private practice. And so I had, out, out of the first 45, I had a number of patients who didn't stick to the program. So I said, well, I'll use them as a kind of pseudo-control. And I found that there was an amazing difference. And that's, so then I gave this information to Linus Pauling. I was with him at a meeting and, uh, in, in, in Massachusetts. This was a Festschrift <coughs> put, on, put on by Arthur Sackler. Arthur Sackler was a very famous American philanthropist, MD, psychiatrist, who was a friend of mine. And uh, uh, Linus Pauling was at this Festschrift, and I was there too. And so we had a chance to visit and talk. And so I told him about what I was seeing, so he became very excited because he'd been under a fantastic attack from the whole profession. They even accused him of making people sick by giving him vitamin C. So Blindness Pauling was delighted to hear what I said, and I, so he said to me, are you going to publish? And I said, no. And he said, why not? And I said, because I don't think I can find a publisher who will take it. He said, he said, go ahead and do it, and I'll make sure you get a publisher. So I didn't take him seriously. I thought he was just you know, being nice to me. So for two years, they didn't do anything. And then one day, two years later, I got a letter from Pauling. He says, Dear Abram, he says, where's that data? So then I said, oh my God, he's serious. But this time I had tweeted 120, no, 130 cases. So I got to work and I did a follow-up. I had to retrace every patient I'd ever seen. And I never worked so hard for the next year at gathering that data. And when I had all the 130, 130 cases collected, I sent the data on to Linus Pauling <clears throat> and then he worked out the statistical analysis of that particular study. And it turned out that out of that group, the ones who were, who did follow the program for at least two months, had a much better prognosis compared to the ones who didn't. 